the other third the other third uh negative thing about elf beauty is that it doesn't offer any dividends so so usually we like to see healthy dividends in a company that has been growing over time healthy dividends that the company can afford you know where the earnings per share is higher than the dividends per share this is something we always want to see but this company doesn't look like it's uh it's offering that but actually when we look when we look at this company it's actually been slowly increasing but at this point we don't know if this is this is uh, a cat bounce or if it's actually on a way to an upward trend at this point we don't know so just by looking at it I'm not gonna make a prediction whether it's going up um, it could go further down this could just be a cat bounce so that's one thing we need to be careful about this all right subscribers that's what i'm saying you don't need you, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket and we know we know that elf beauty it's a cosmetic company the company conducts business under the name elf elf cosmetics and offers products for eyes lips and face to consumers through its retail customers elf stores and e-commerce commercial uh, channels the company offers a range of products for eyes such as eyeshadow eyeliner mascara and eyelashes eyebrows concealer and primer brushes and tools and sets and pilates pilates whatever the company offers lipstick lip gloss lip liner and lip care and brushes the company launches its products on elfcosmetics.com you could actually check this uh website out guys um so Subscribers, I will be checking this out, uh, the website out for you guys. So, um, so make sure you look forward to that. And distribution is generally only brought into its retail customers after it receives consumer validation online. The company sells its products to national and international retailers, with international primarily serviced by distributors and direct to consumer channels. It sells its products in retail stores in the United States across mass drugstore, food, and specialty retail channels. And we can see that the fiscal year ended 31 December. Revenues decreased 1% to 267.4 million. Net income before extraordinary items decreased 29% to 15.5 million. Revenues reflect. U.S. segment decreases 1% to 240.6 million retail sales total decrease of 1% to 267.4 million net income also reflects selling general and administrative experience increase of 2% to 126.4 million which is the expense. Now, when we look at the cash debt level, here's the detailed statistics. The enterprise value, you can see is at 669.6 million. We can see the market value is at 570.6 million. And the net debt is 99 million, which is 2.3 of the operating profit. Now, when we look at the sales forecast, we can see that the last 12 months, it has been, it has made a 